APC presidential candidate Ashwa Jibola Metinubu will embark on foreign trips as from December 4th to meet global leaders and pitch its presidential aspiration. The APC presidential candidates will travel to key western capitals and is expected to return to Nigeria by December 12th to continue its campaign rallies and stakeholders' engagement. Hmm, some people are saying it is not true. That this is more like uh, going to have a uh, his medical checkups. You know, they will not want to say that the last time he went for medical checkups, he told us that he was meeting with some people in in UK and we didn't see anything of such. He has not even met with uh, people here on ground. And also, these are the same people who will be telling you that uh, Nigeria is a sovereign country, is a sovereign whatever. That we don't need anybody to tell us what to do, and you are going to meet them. You want to, to which to meet global to meet global who I don't understand to discuss what with them. Do they? I don't really understand. Are they the ones to tell Nigerians who to vote for? You are not even meeting Nigerians in diaspora. At least when you meet Nigerians in diaspora, people always say that they don't usually vote. Yes, they might not vote, but they have people back at home that they can influence. So who are these? Uh, these uh, world leaders or global leaders will be influencing. A lot of things have been happening in Nigeria. They've never said anything. So are they the ones that will not tell Nigerians that, oh, these are the people, or this is the person you need to vote for because I don't even see the correlation at all. The former legal state governor and his delegation will be in London, USA, France, and key European Union member states to share his vision and plans and to also solicit the support of the Western power for the democratic process that we usher in new administration from May 29th, 2023. <laughs> this same set of people talk with both sides of their mouth. All these people now, if they tell you now, do this, you say, no, and you realize what? I don't even understand the influence these guys really have. It hopes to succeed the ABC-led administration of President Muhammad Buhari since the party took over the leadership of the central government in Nigeria in 2015. This is the first time it will be organizing an election where it hopes to transfer power to another candidate from its own fold. While in London, Tinubu is scheduled to address the chair, the Katam House, the United Kingdom's elite forum, foreign and police think tank institution where he will speak on security, <laughs> economy and foreign policy on Monday, December 5th. 2022. Wow. Ashiwaji Tinumbu will embark on foreign trip to meet global leaders and influencers. Western powers are still very influential on election in Africa and they have more than passing interest in Nigeria's election as the largest economy in the continent and biggest black nation on earth. Ashiwaji will use the opportunities of this trip to sell its agenda for national development and also solicit the support of the Western leaders for a transition program. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny, it's funny, funny. Man is going for medical checkup. Don't be deceived. All this is to make the media not to talk about him going for medical trip. A man who can't even make coherent sense to Nigerians when he talks is the one who wants to go address global leaders in UK. I laugh in Swahili. Okay, well, let's wait and see. There are six, okay. Lie of the century. I can bet my money. Sinubu is going for his deteriorating health. They want to repackage his umos. He cannot even do anything anymore. The more they package it, the more is keep failing. Please, no go disgrace yourself in the UK. We already understand you here. Hmm. As he finished addressing us here in Nigeria, while you, he is going for Umuna top up. Someone God has blessed to have deceived Nigeria to so the essence. Instead of him to go and rest and be an indisputable kingmaker, he is allowing himself to be pushed to disgrace that it will work for Buhari, Biden and others. Does not even mean it will work for you, but all in all sense, I wish you were. Well, it is. it was a Catham house that Boo Boo went and orchestrated the blueprint of the mess we are in in this country. So we better wise up. 
I pray the news is true. If so, Tinubu would be walking into a carefully orchestrated platform where that we expose his dementia and mental incapacitation before the world. Believe me, the world, the West and other nations want to bring Bola Ahmed Tinubu's mental incoherence to the world glare, but at the same time, helping Nigeria to be wise in choosing their next leader and 2023. You real? He should address Nigerians on Arise TV channels and even TVC, present and defend its manifesto before Nigeria. Nigerian press, the voters are in Nigeria and charity begins at home. He's going to complete the disgrace he has been disgracing himself. Let him continue. Please, Baba Tinubu, go and rest. This one you are saying you must be president is not good for your health. You are not even fit for the work at all. Best Nigerian comic actor going to UK to perform. I can't even wait to watch the comedy. Another caricature comedic drama loading. Who knows whether he will roast another conde. Much gaffes to be expected. This man know the respect himself. Can't wait to see his international embarrassment. Now who, <clears throat> now who come do you like this? Stay away from drugs. You know, go agree. See. <laughs> ah, this uh, international global meeting uh, is somehow, honestly, going for its injections. Open your eyes. It's going to disgrace Nigeria with his senseless phrases. Just tell us he's going to be repackaged or he is going to disgrace himself. Medical checkup loading. Shame on them if they fail to show us the speech live. Casalago boss. More gaps loading. You can't even address us, Nigeria. Now, Ibo, you won't address. Another blah blah boo bubala session is loading. APC lies. Which Chatham house? The man is going for medical treatment. He is only deceiving himself and playing God. God may decide not to allow him participate in the election. Time will tell. We are all waiting for the new gaps and blunders he will alter. It has gotten to this level. It has gotten to this level. Do the Prime Minister of Britain come to the National Assembly, Abuja, to address black people? Black people being guessing. That's what I'm saying. Let's even leave all the others say gaps and blunders and what have you. Does it really make sense in the first place? They are the ones that we say you cannot tell us what to do. And they don't have what it is. When they want to do that evil, that is when you'll be hearing all those uh, nonsense statements. But let's see how it goes. Let's keep our finger crossed. No worries.